Yo, head is gonna pop my top, and that's on gang gang. My girls gon' bag me up, and that's on gang gang. Big problem, y'all know my name. Lil' chum, get out my lane. My crew don't play those games. What's up, Yoga Gang? Welcome back to today's daily reaction video. Today we are reacting to the world's most deadly toxic fish and my problem. My problem. And no problems will be out on Friday. So don't forget to go check that out. And without further ado, let's get to the video. Let's go. Okay, let's turn the volume up because I'm gonna hear it. Okay, well, just We are in Asakusa, which is an old part of Tokyo. So the restaurant's very cool, Ooh. kind of old uh, Japanese style building. We were just talking with the owner of the restaurant and he was showing us a fugu that has already been prepared by the chef for table okay. style. So the poison what is has that? been removed. You could take this one home and prepare it at home. Um, Wait, problems. let's pause. We're going to try it. Poison? I know that's what the video is about, but like. What? Who would want to eat a poisonous fish? You know what? Let's go. That one, as well as a fresh food. So we were just checking out the live fugu puffer fish here. I knew it was like a type of pumper fish. Very poisonous. Don't let their looks deceive you. Those look really cool. Okay, so they catch them. They let, like actually catch them. Oh no! Hold its breath. Oh no. We are in the kitchen with the chef. He would have had to do a very rigorous exam in order to be qualified to prepare this fugu poisonous pepper fish. So our life is in his hands, but I trust him. Yeah. Okay? Okay. <laughs> it's still alive. That's the most poisonous part. Okay, so this is the most poisonous part, the, the liver. So you only need to eat a tiny, tiny bit and it's too much. So we're standing a little back yeah. to the other splatter zone. Yeah, blood splatter can be dangerous. Apparently the blood can be dangerous. Yeah, this is actually a little bit gory. So this is the most poisonous part right here. The insides, mainly the liver, but some other parts. Check this out. Eight thousand? Wow. <laughs> so there's enough poison in the fugu to kill about eight thousand people. Wait. Or more. Or more than that, even more. Eight thousand people. That's a lot of people. If you don't think that's a lot of people, you're tripping. Wow. That's a lot of people. Eight thousand people. So the most important part is to wash the blood thoroughly off of the meat so that it looks like this when it's finished. It's like cool, but like gruesome. It's like, oh, you just skinned a live puffer fish. Cleaned all the poison from the puffer fish. This is called a tiger puffer fish, I just learned, by the way. So actually the skin of this species is not poisonous. However, some oh, are, skin. look at this, this is the, the puffer part, the skin of the puffer. We can eat this. Okay. 
Can you ask him how many fugu has he prepared in his life or a, a ballpark? <laughs> He's counting. <laughs> 33. Wow. So, so his estimate is about a thousand actually a year, and he's been doing this for 33 years. So. 33. He, I wasn't even born. We are sitting down now in the restaurant. We are sitting in this beautiful private room, and the owners have served us two types of fugu sashimi. So you can see that they look similar, so cool. but actually they are different. This one here is the one we just watched the chef prepare. So it's a little bit shriveled up because apparently when you prepare the fresh fugu, the meat actually shrivels. So I am a little bit nervous, but it is time to try the sashimi. It looks really good, so I'm gonna actually try the fresh one first. So you can see that it's paper, paper thin. I've never seen sashimi sliced so thin. I can barely pick it up with my chopsticks. And there we have it. I'm gonna actually take one of these green onions and maybe kind of wrap it up. And then we also have a ponzu sauce here, fugu sashimi. Is it good? Mm -hmm. Oh, it's a very pizza. interesting texture. It's got a lean, almost crunch to it, but at the same time, because it's Thinly Wait. So th Crunch? Fish should not be crunchy. Fish should not be crunchy. Fish should not be crunchy. Okay. So I'm back from asking myself, Siri, Google, Alexa, and Everyone, why fish is crunchy? Dang, I just messed it up. Why fish is... Ow! We're going to retake that. That is sweet nothing. Okay, I'm back from asking Siri, Google, Alexa, and myself why fish is crunchy. Or that type of fish is crunchy. Okay, let's get back to the video. In this slice, it's very easy to chew, so you can taste that texture or feel that texture. The flavor, slightly sweet. I think I, I have to try one with less uh, of the ponzu sauce. So, mm. Mm. Oh, there is a subtle flavor. It's not ocean it's not seafood flavor it's a little bit sweet it's got an oiliness that kind of just melts in your mouth as you chew it oily it's really, really good and i think i'm fine that tastes awesome better than i expected i know fugu dish is a beautiful plate of fried fugu karage Ooh. and a little bit of lemon on top and this stuff looks so crispy it does very, very crispy i'm just gonna go in with my fingers mm. Ooh. Ooh. That crunch. That's a KFC chicken crunch. Wow. You think it's going to be like fried chicken? Because yeah. Similar takes on the outside, just that oily, deep fried crunchiness. But then the soft boo meat inside. This is probably the softest preparation of the meat. Get that Maybe away from me. Too soft. It's not much. I don't even meat. eat fish. It's very fall apart. Not as much texture as a sashimi. All right. I guess that was the end of the video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on those post notifications so you never miss one of my videos. And no problems will be out on Friday, just like I said. And you can get you and you can get yourself a cool new merch from the link down below in the description and in my Instagram bio. All that good stuff like that. Peace out, guys. Bye.